what is going on? It is me, Mr. Mario, and uh, yes, I'm going to be bringing you an unboxing for the first time in a bit, uh, but it's Xbox related, so I decided to do this. Anyways, I actually purchased this um, a few days ago, I want to say, but now I'm actually having time to do a video over it, so I'm going to be doing a review and all that stuff, overview of it, I guess you can say. This is the, I will show you exactly what it is. It is the uh, Sony OptiArc. Uh, model 5280S CB Plus. Now, what is so special about this drive? Well, if you burn your own Xbox 360 backups, you would know, you probably know something about XGD3. I have a whole series, you know, about 360 modding and all that, and I've covered all this. Well, for a while, you needed an iHaz drive. By an iHaz drive, that is a drive that is, um, it is a anywhere from an iHaz 124 to 624 model. Uh, made by LG. Now for a while, the B models were the only ones that you could really use. You had to flash them with a custom firmware. Then that ended up getting replaced with C and D revisions. Well, those ones are compatible with the Burner Max payload tool. However, of course now, LG, no, well, Lidon, excuse me, it's not LG. I get them confused for some reason, but Lidon ended up making the W model, and that has not been hackable at all. There's still plenty of other drives, but you know, um, the Burner Max payload tool it's great but the problem is there's so many drives it's universal so you're gonna have some drives you're gonna have a lot of drives actually that it does not work with and then you'll also have a lot of drives that it does work with but the burns are just not working like they might not install properly or they might give you coasters so Sony ended up releasing this now the special deal about this burner is that it has a type of overburn available on it Here's the thing with XGD3 games, in case you don't know, um, XGD3 games use up 100% of the disc if you burn them uh, using Burner Max. However, if you don't, they only use up about 97-98% of the disc. So, it's really not overburning, even though it is at the same time, but this drive has a feature on it. The firmware, or like right out of the factory, the firmware is designed to read an 85 gigabyte style dual-layer DVD at 8.7 gigabytes, which is the exact same thing that Burner Max does. So this is pretty much a uh, Burner Max enabled drive without Burner Max. This is straight from the factory. Um, it's not modified or anything. It's a brand new drive. And uh, again, Sony OptiArc 5280S CB Plus. So if you all want to see it, we'll go ahead and open it up. Let me just go ahead and move the camera down a bit. There we go. That's a bit more comfortable. So we're going to go ahead and open it. You can get this drive. It's relatively cheap. Uh, you can get it off Amazon for about... Uh, I actually got this one on sale. It was about $27, $28, but normally averages around $35 to $40, which is pretty good, honestly, considering that normal iHaz drives are about $20, $25, maybe even $30. And if you find an iHaz Revision B, uh, people like to get a good amount of money for those. Some people might be thinking, if you're watching this, why would you buy one of these if you could just use Burner Max? Well, the uh, the payload tool. Well, with this, you're going to ensure that you have good burns. You don't have to run that payload tool every time. And also, what I like about having a B-model drive is that you can actually read your 100% burn backups with that drive, which is what I like. It's just a matter of convenience. So anyways, we go ahead, open this up, and it's still in the packaging. So first off, a lot of people have noted that they like uh, the aesthetics of it, meaning that uh, it does not have any white labeling on it. So it's just nice and black. It's basic. It's really all that's needed. So inside, this is great actually. They give you a SATA cable. Awesome. And inside of here, what all do we get? Uh, what is this? Oh, ha! Huh, it comes with the image burn. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, burning software and driver. So CD Burner XP and Image Burn, and of course the drivers if they're really needed. So, uh, huh, didn't think it would come packaged with Image Burn. And here we have the actual drive itself. Just a normal DVD drive, SATA, all the screws. On the bottom, right here, I'll show you, it's Sony OptiArc, AD5280S. All that good stuff, and 5280S CB Plus, that is the exact model that we're going to be rocking. And it was made at the end of last year, so October 2012. So you can still get this burner uh, on either eBay or Amazon. I'll go ahead 
give a link, but uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually test it. So I'm going to install it in my PC. I've never used one of these before. I'm going to install it in my PC. And uh, if you heard Image Burn make a noise a few minutes ago, I just finished ripping over uh, my backup of Halo 4. That's, that's where the iHaz comes in handy. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to be reburning Halo 4 using this, and uh, we're going to see how it works out. Alright, so as you all can see, I already have the disc loaded on here. Now, I'm just using a cheap disc for this, honestly, just because I'm interested in seeing how this works with cheap media. Now, I did notice that uh, this is just a WinData disc, and it does not do 2.4x on these. So, uh, you'd probably have to use a media code speed edit to uh, write, um, rewrite the firmware on here, which... I've tried doing that before with a uh, Sony OptiArc drive, uh, an older one I had, and uh, they only released their firmwares on that one in in a, in a EXE format. Uh, it wasn't a bin file or anything, so you couldn't really edit them with a MCSE, unfortunately. But uh, we'll go ahead and load up our ISO in here. All right, now that we have the ISO loaded, I'll go ahead and give it a burn again. This is going to be at 4x and on image burn, which is what I'll be using. There's no tab for Sony at all. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw it at default settings and such. Uh, I have OPC unticked. I have my buffer at uh, 512 megabytes. And uh, aside from that, I don't really think there's anything else I've changed, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, well, I went ahead and tried burning my disc, and uh, I can confirm at least my cheap media does not work. I had a WinData disc here, uh, got to 100%, and it couldn't finalize the disc. It was throwing errors at me, and uh, so that disc is just uh, not even going to try it. It's not finalized, so it's uh, a coaster. So um, I was looking online. People have had luck with Memorex on here. Uh, on this specific burner, but right now I just went ahead, popped it a verbatim. Uh, pretty much this will be the test. I mean, it's showing right here, you know, stock firmware, but it's showing, uh, you know, uh, it's overburned and everything. It's an 8.7 disc, uh, gigabyte disc, excuse me. And I mean, nothing really else to show right now. We'll go ahead and try burning this again. If it does not burn this and uh, install it properly, then uh, we'll have a big issue here. But I mean, this is a verbatim, uh, one of the best discs out there, uh, probably right next to Teo Yudin. So uh, we'll go ahead and burn this, see what happens, and it should be working fine. Also, uh, this is working at 2.4x. I feel like with the wind datas, if I could burn them at 2.4, they would be fine. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, with this drive, I even tried looking it up, and I could not find a firmware that I could edit for this drive. I don't even think there's a firmware out because the drive is relatively new, so. Unfortunately, that can't be done, at least at this present period of time, but uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll go ahead and burn this and I'll report back. All right, well, we just finished writing our disc and uh, I'll go ahead and eject it here. This one, of course, burned uh, 100%, didn't have an issue or anything, and it actually finalized, unlike the other one. So I'm looking at the disc right now, the disc looks fine. I did notice, though, on both discs that um, it seems like this burner is lighter, I guess you can say on my computer. I can say that, and I don't think other people will really cover that. Uh, I have a pretty good computer, actually. It's a i5-2500K processor, uh, just stock clock 3.3 gigahertz, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Biostar motherboard, and uh, the video card doesn't really matter in this situation, but I got a Radeon HD7850 installed in here. Uh, my main boot drive is a solid state drive, and uh, then my storage drive with the, oh, with the, um, ISO and everything on it is a one terabyte uh, Western Digital Black Caviar or Caviar Black hard drive. Uh, so I ran everything off that. I did notice uh, when I normally burn with my iHaz, I've noticed that like opening up programs, even if it was off my boot drive, which is my solid state, opening up programs was slow. My buffer would go down and all that. I noticed with the first burn, the buffer really didn't go down. Um, it stayed the same, and my computer wasn't really acting as sluggish as it normally would, I guess you can say. Uh, the second thing is that when I was burning it onto a verbatim disk, I noticed when it uh, got near the end, the buffer started going down at around 89% or so, while as on the iHaz drive, the buffer would not go down until about the last 5% or so, which was available. Um, so I, I guess... I, I I guess you can say this burner is more cautious, but uh, less taxing on system resources at the same time, if that makes any sense. I mean, all I know is this. I've burned, you know, hundreds of disks with my iHaz drive, and especially on dual layers, my computer runs a bit sluggish. Um, while as with this, I burned two, and uh, it ran just fine. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go over to the Xbox, and uh, the actual trial will be installing this game.
Well, as you can see here, I am speeding up the footage, but I was able to install my Halo 4 with no issues. This is off the verbatim disc. It was a MKM001 burned at 2.4x speed, and it seemed to install fine. Didn't have any hiccups or anything. Uh, the disc didn't slow down while it was in the drive, anything like that. It was good to go. Uh, noticeable issues. Now, I did try. I did have one more try with some cheap media. I did another Win Data disc, and it was a Ryko Japan media code. Uh, the previous one I was using was a Umi disc. That was it, which the media codes do differ on there. Uh, now, the Ryko Japan one, I noticed it burned fine. There were no issues when I burned it. However, when I tried actually installing the game, it could not even get past 0%. It gave me a dirty disc error. So, to me, at least, uh, other people might have better luck with this. I've read, as I said, I've read that Memorex worked. I read that Sony works on here. Um, I, myself, I only have two types of Win Data Discs and a Verbatim uh, on hand. Well, Verbatim Stack on hand. So, I can't really try anything else, unfortunately. But, for me, it seems like, you know, I'm sure the Win Datas will probably be okay for XGD2. But, for XGD3, they just don't cut it with this burner. This burner is great for Verbatims, don't get me wrong. Probably some other ones out there, but at least with my Win Data experience, it's not working too well. So all in all, what do I think of this DVD burner? Well, if you're looking for a really reliable Burner Max capable, or not really capable, but more a Burner Max clone drive, I definitely recommend this. Although I will say, um, I still, after using this, I still prefer the light on I has. I hate saying this, but I prefer it to do the fact that the B model, you could take the drive firmwares and then you can adjust them you know with media code speed edit for cheaper media which I really do like that option I like having more of an open source option with my drive but that's about it if you're looking for a good drive I definitely recommend this I actually will be using these drives so I do have a use for them but um you know for the price I think it's pretty well worth it if you can get it for the right price anyways this is Mr. Mario signing off thanks for watching everyone